Well, Cuphead and his pal Mugman, they like to roll the dice. What's up, everybody? This is Cool Dude, and welcome to the Cuphead Bosses tier list. Now, not only any Cuphead Boss tier list, but this is a Cuphead Boss difficulty tier list, meaning that we will be ranking these based off how hard they are to play in the game. And considering I've been playing this game a lot, because I, I still love this game, and I'm still waiting for the damn DLC to come out, and I just keep getting pissed that it keeps getting postponed, I'm going to make a video about this. So, um, the order seem should be pretty self-explanatory. On the bottom, we have Easy Peasy. You can expect a lot of the World 1 bosses to be now, down here, if you've ever played the game. A little bit of a challenge, which means a little bit hard, a little bit hard. Annoying, it means, like, normal, normal difficulty. Very annoying, we're getting into the little bit of a hardness. Unreal is, like, hard. And then just stop, which is like, that, which are bosses that can actually like just go f themselves. All right. So with that being said, uh, my camera's not focusing. Oh my god! Is it focused? Damn it! I'm not really sure. Anyway, whatever. Let's just get on with the ranking today. So I see we have first the root pack. Obviously, the first boss in World One, unless you count Koopa Le Grande, which you can also go to in World One. And all these guys are going in the same category, easy peasy, because it doesn't matter what phase you're playing as, even on the S rank, which by the way, yes, I am going to be counting them on expert, normal, and simple, which I don't know why I'm counting simple, because it's really like nothing much different from normal, but whatever. I'm going to be counting all the difficulties based on that, and even on expert, these guys are still easy as crap. I mean, sure, the potatoes attacks will get me like every once in a while, if I'm not, if I'm feeling really off on my game, I will get hit, but... I've like almost I've I've aced this game. I've aced up that boss like so many times. It's not even funny. Goopy Le Grande. Another easy peasy boss. Like even on expert. He has the same attacks, same things, you know, he's just bouncing around. In the second phase he just kinda kinda punches at you, and even in the third phase when he's like going back and forth like a grave, trying to smash you, it's really nothing that big. So Goopy Le Grande, in general, you get easy peasy. The Frog Brothers, um, for some I don't know why. I don't know why I have such a hard time with these frogs. I think it's that third phase. Because, look, I'm good at the frog. I, I, like, I like the frog jumps the best. The, but the tiger... Actually, no. The tiger I've actually gotten much better at. Playing it nowadays. I used to suck at the tiger attack. The one, like, the ball jumps up and down on the thing. But nowadays, now that I've practiced it more, I've gotten better at that one. It's now the jumps that piss me off. And also the devils, for some reason, I just can't do them. They look easy, but when you actually do them, it's not that easy. So, for that, the frog bros, they go in annoying. Um, Cagney Carnation, eh, you're a little bit of a challenge. I'm counting the expert in that because that one attack, when he, when he just constantly spams that one gun move when he's shooting the sprouts, can get me messed up sometimes. So he's a little bit of a challenge, but nothing too crazy. Oh god, Hildeberg. Oh god, I hate you. You're, you're an amazing boss, one of the best animated ones in the game, but gosh darn are you annoying. Like, uh, the normal is fine, I guess. I got messed up on that boss quite a bit when I was playing normal. But, and then now, uh, expert, it just got worse. I don't know how I S-ranked that one. And yes, I am actually S-ranking the bosses on my own time. The only one I haven't done is Wally Warbles, but we'll get to that crap. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the worst bosses in this game. <laughs> just stop. If you count Expert, which I do, this guy is the worst piece of Cuphead trash in this entire game. Not only is his fight generally my le one of my least favorite, but it's so annoying as crap to do. You know how in the original Simple, if those of you play the game, you know in the normal game when you can just literally hug the wall to avoid the eggs? This game says, F that noise, you have to dodge all the eggs. Well, frack you! I'm not doing that, so just stop. God, I hate Wally Warbles. I don't care what anybody says, he sucks. He's so, so hard. Especially if you play him on Expert. Alright. Baroness Von Bon Bon, on the other hand, is the complete opposite. She is so easy peasy. Like, I can't even believe she's part of World 2. Look, some people may have a problem. I get it. And honestly, that final run may trip you up. Especially because you have to keep moving her head. Honestly, actually, you know what? Because of that, I will do a little bit of a challenge. I can't say she's that easy. Because that final phase is a little tricky. But... Literally, all the other things are great, are like fine. Like the, the candy corn is easy, the gumball man's easy, the waffle guy's easy. Especially if you play on expert, nothing much really changes, except for the speed of the final phase will get faster. So, for that Baroness Fun Bon Bon, you just get a little bit of a challenge. Jimmy the Great. Uh, 
you're pretty annoying. I don't want to say you're the worst, because some of his attacks are really bad, really bad to do. Um, in particular, I hate the puppet attack, just because, like, it feels like you have literally nowhere to go on that phase. That's probably my, one of my least favorite phases to play through in any, any of the bosses, just because I hate the claustrophobic feeling I have on that part, because it just feels like you have so, you know, little spaces to go to in that boss to dodge all the attacks. Um, but all the other bosses... The rest of the boss is honestly not too terrible. It's like, it's, it is it is definitely a challenge, but it's not too terrible. Like, where I would put it, just stop, like, freaking Wally Warbles up there. God, I hate him. So, he's just annoying. Grim Matchstick. Uh, this guy, a lot of people say he's really hard. I actually don't have a problem with him. I'm just gonna put him in very annoying, because, yes, um, the fact that you can't shoot at the fireballs is BS. Like, that is so freaking infuriating, and I hate that final phase so much. But honestly, other than that, he's not really that bad. Like, the first phase is whatever, the second phase is honestly so easy, and then the third phase, it just Fs me up every time. So, for that, you just get very annoying, Mr. Grimm. Uh, Bubby the, Bubby the Clown, man, I love Bubby the Clown. Not only because he's not really that hard, I'll put you in a little bit of a challenge, but because, um, I love the animation of him, I love his design, I love the sound effects, like, of the bumper car, of the, like, him laughing as he's coming up as a friggin', uh, merry-go-round. It's just, it's a great, it's a great one. It's a great boss battle. And, uh, in terms of difficulty, he's not really that bad for me. So, he's a little bit of a challenge. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so I guess I'll rank any, all these individual phases by themselves. Of the, what is it, the Phantom Express, sorry. I almost called it the Ghost Train for a second. I mean, it is a Ghost Train, but it's, that's not what it's called. Um, so the head of the train, you get, uh... You get a little bit of a no, a little bit of a challenge, because honestly, that one's not too bad, unless you don't get screwed over by I, my my personal advice. If you're going on that boss, uh, don't stand directly behind, like under him when you're attacking, because you're just asking for a wallop at that point. You're asking for a challenge. So if you don't do that, he's not too bad. This guy, on the other hand, can literally go f himself. That skeleton, I I I just why why does touching his head hurt you? You literally have nowhere else to You have to jump, I feel like, at just the right spot to get away from him. And not only that, you have to constantly deal with the pumpkins dropping those stupid bricks at you, even in normal mode. So that guy can literally go F off. Freaking skeleton man. I don't even know if he has a name. He probably does. I just, I don't feel like looking it up, because screw him. Lollipop dudes. I, I know, I don't know that's their name, but I'm just going to call them Lollipop Bros. They're also not too bad, but it's a little bit of a challenge. Occasionally I will get screwed up because of the ghosts. I just can't really shoot them in a precise way because they kind of come from weird angles at certain points. But other than that, they're not too bad. And this guy is easy peasy. Like, if you have if you have roundabout, that's like easy peasy. Oh yeah, and another thing, like, I'm counting, like, all the shots, by the way. Like, I don't care, like, some of you may say, Oh, well, it's not easy because I did it with Peace Shooter and it's not that hard. You know what? I... I didn't use Peace Shooter, alright? I'm counting this any shot, literally if you're using any shot. I'm counting it more, not because of like, the shots that take it easy, I'm taking it more like, in skill level, you know what I mean? So, I, you know, even if you didn't use that gun in that fight, it's still easy for me. Like, because you have to get that shot eventually. So, that's why. Anyway, Sally's stage play. You are honestly easy peasy. She reminds me of a, a World 1 boss, but in a, in a good way. Because it is a nice break from all these other World 3 bosses that are in just not that fun to play. I mean, they're fun to play. I love looking at the animations. I love watching it over and over, but I just don't like repeating stuff. I don't know. Some people are a fan of the whole, like, um, trial and error thing. Uh, I think it can get really annoying after a while. I just, like, I want to play it through, you know what I mean? But um, this game doesn't really make me that mad. Sometimes, with, most times with the trial and error, it'll get me a few times, but, you know, I can live with it. So, for that, Sally stage play, you go on easy peasy, because you're pretty, you you are ridiculously easy. Calla Maria, oh, you're unreal. Oh, God, you're so unreal. Uh, doesn't, like, all three phases are equally hard. Like, they're, it's honestly not a matter of, no one of the phases is putting it, her up. It's just literally all the phases are equally difficult. And the difficulty that they happen to be on is just very annoying. So, well, that com that all those phases combined makes for an unreal fight. So, Calla Maria. <sighs> Oh god, rumor honey bottoms just stop. They still like they had they the, the developer Cuphead, you know, um MRH Productions, I want to say, M MHR or something like that. Um they did patches to the game. This fight still feels the same as it was once before. Like they added more parry opportunities, they fixed some of the bosses, but I swear to god they did not change a thing for honey bottoms and that's not in a good way. 
because you could still go up and get hit by things that are off of the freaking screen. You can still get screwed over by the platforms that don't show up every once in a while. The attacks are heinous. The oh and the oi 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 you have to listen to every time is annoying. God, this boss is annoying. So just stop. Dr. Call's robot. Now, this guy used to be a problem for a lot of people. Like, a lot of people hated the robot. Me, I only find him annoying. I actually beat him after, what, was it 10 tries? I want to say 10 tries. 10 tries, I beat Dr. Call's robot. He's honestly not too difficult. Especially now that you can parry in that final phase, which I actually, I used to suck at parrying, and then I practiced. That's, if there's one thing to take away from this video, apart from me ranking bosses, is that practice makes perfect. Please know that. It really helps you out. Especially with video games. But yeah, um, with repetition, Dr. Call's robot is honestly not too bad. And that final phase, compared to all the other final phases, like, is not that bad for me. Because I've done bullet hells before, um, and it's not terrible. Werner, Werner Vermin, you are so easy peasy, but you are still my favorite boss. I don't care what anybody says, Werner Vermin is an awesome boss. Everything from the cat reveal to, like, the whole aesthetic, the music is great, uh, the sound effects are hilarious, and I love, like, the Tom and Jerry feel of it all. So... Verna Vermin, you're my favorite boss, but you're still easy peasy, because, come on, come on, guys. I, I guess that second phase could be a little bit of an issue if, you know, you're not quick enough, especially an expert. I feel like they get speeded up a little bit more, but it's easy peasy. Oh, uh, Captain Briny Beard. You are... You're... Hmm, <clears throat> you're annoying. Just because, um, I was going to put him in a little bit of a challenge, but then I thought about, like, all the stuff that goes on, especially towards the end, with the cannon fire, with the ship firing cannons, um, the fish he sends at you, and the shoot, he's shooting from his squid. So, yeah, it can get a little chaotic if you're not prepared, so, Briny Beard gets annoying. And then we have these two right here, King Dice and the Devil. For some reason, uh, this tier list has all the mini-bosses divided, so I'll just rank them all by their difficulty. King Dice himself, it's phase. This difficulty depends entirely on how well you can parry. Like, if you're a really good parrier, this is going to be, like, the easiest phase. If you're not good, this is going to be a living hell. For me, it was both, because I did not get good at parrying, and this was a living hell at first. But then I got good, and then this part was, like, the easiest part of the fight. So, I'll put him in annoying. Just the middle of the road. I feel like that's good enough. Um, cigarette, dude. I don't, uh, Mr. I don't, I don't know his name. Uh, like, I know some of their names. I can remember some of their names. Like, I know this monkey's name is Mr. Chimes, but... Um, Cigarette Dude, um... You get a little bit of a challenge. I played with him a lot when I was trying to fight King Dice, just because I like the way he functions, especially with Roundabout. Um, so he's a little bit of a challenge, but not too much. Not too bad, so... Cigarette, you get a little bit of a challenge, because you're not too bad! Especially, but smoking is bad. Don't, don't, don't smoke. Don't smoke. Not good. Alrighty. Um, the Skeleton Horse. Um, the Flying Boss. In general, I just don't like Flying Bosses. They're not my favorite. This guy is very annoying, just because I hate the, the horses that fly up top, they'll always get me, and it feels like there's so much clutter, like with the trees, like you can, like with the trees going by, you can barely see any of the horses that go up, so half the time I don't feel like I can dodge anything, you know what I'm saying? So that's why he's very annoying. Mr. Chimes, you are uh, unreal, he's the hardest one for me. I, I know, it's techni technically it's not hard, because you just have to match the cards and then you just have to hit them. But, like, because it lasts so long, you're bound to mess it up, especially for me, because my attention span is so lo short, so I end up just effing it up at the end anyway, and losing, like, two hearts or something. Um, this guy, the, uh, Chips. Um, he's a little bit of a challenge. He's a little bit of a challenge, just because most of the time it'll be really easy, but then it'll do these, like, one, like, really slim Chips patterns that you have to jump through, and you can't even dodge it, so it's like... Okay, you're very, very, very annoying, and you'll you'll just get hit by it anyway. Ooh, it's uh the magic magic dude, magic dude, magic rabbit. Um, you get annoying, cause I I I don't like parrying down when he does the whole when he does like the up thing, and you have to parry the heart to get down. That part's pretty simple, but when you're doing it up, when he goes down, when the thing goes down instead of up, that gets like I don't know how to do that part. I still don't know. <laughs> I've been playing it for a year, and I still don't know how to do that crap. Uh, I think this girl's name is Perletta. I don't, I don't, Perletta? I hope I'm saying it right. You are honestly easy peasy, especially with, um, freaking, um, actually, you know, I'll give a little bit of a challenge, because it's easy for me, because I have smoke bomb, and I'm cheesing it. Don't judge me. But, uh, I can see how, f for some people, the parrying part can be pretty annoying, because you usually have to parry over her. So it depends entirely on how you parry, but at least not with King Dice, because she has another attack with the balls. 
Um, so it's not entirely her phase, but King Dice I'll put over her because it's that entire phase of King Dice is literally just you parrying cards. Oh, it's uh, Mangustine. This guy is awesome. He's so easy, so nice to me, and most more often than not, I'll go with him at number eight on the dice wheel, just because he's so so simple, so easy peasy. The three drinks. I think it's the Tipsy Troop, if I'm remembering it correctly. Um, uh, you guys get uh, annoying, just because I hate the. I hate the combination of the attacks, because if you leave them all alive too long, that could be a bit of a challenge. Like, you need to kill them as soon as possible, otherwise this fight's just going to go on forever, and you're going to bound to lose a heart eventually, because you can't keep it up. And lastly, the Domino people. They're honestly easy-peasy. Like, these guys are so ridiculously easy. Sure, it can get a little clustered at times, but if you can manage it, I truly believe it's an easy-peasy section. That's just my opinion. Again, this is all my opinion. This is all from my personal experiences with Cuphead, so please, if you have a differing opinion, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to see your opinions. Love it. Because I love this game, I like talking about it, and I can't wait for the dang DLC, and I hope it's still coming out. And the devil himself. I'm sorry, I know people say he's not as hard as King Dice, but he's still, like, just stop for me. I'm so sorry. The devil is so hard. That, granted, the final phase is not too bad, but like, oh my god, that first phase alone is just a headache. Um, the, some of the attacks are very, very hard, like, the general, like, the rushed feel of it, like, as he does the attack super quick, it feels, like, really bad. And that third phase, don't even get me started. You have the fat demons shooting skulls at you from the right and left, you have the poker chips falling, you have the demon bats you have to worry about coming from you from the top, and you still have to do damage to the freaking boss all at once. Like, holy crap, what is going on right now? <sighs> Before that, you just get just stop. But anyway, that is my official tier list for the Cuphead bosses in terms of difficulty. Uh, I liked this tier list. It was fun. I love Cuphead in general. I know it's not really a hip thing to talk about nowadays, but I still think it is an awesome game. And you should definitely play it, especially if you're fans of old cartoons, because this like feels like a great homage to like the Disney and Max Fleischer and whatnot, all those cool cartoons of the old days. And the animation is just gorgeous. The gameplay and everything is awesome. But that is my tier list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, uh, let me know what you guys think of this tier list. If you'd agree, if you disagree, if you have a differing opinion, that's great. But please share it in a nice respect for mana for me, please. And until next time, guys. Stay cool, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye, y'all.